an environmental crisis. It's how many experts in the field describe the poor garbage disposal practices of many Jamaicans. And the evidence is everywhere. Along the country's coastline, on sidewalks, people throwing garbage out of their vehicles, and in gullies. Are these habits hard to break? Are the authorities doing enough? I'm Janella Precious, and we explore these issues and much more in Waste. Jamaica, island paradise, majestic mountains, sandy beaches, beautiful sunshine, warm and friendly people, a population that's grown steadily over the years, and a growing appetite for goods which after use need to be disposed of. Under the Solid Waste Act, the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, is responsible for collecting garbage, and that means more than collecting, sorting, storing, transporting, transferring, treating, and disposing of solid waste. But for many years now, the agency has not been able to meet the growing demand to collect as much waste as citizens put out. Garbage is not being collected as often as it should because the agency just doesn't have enough vehicles and those in its fleet are worn. And there's no doubt, we have an age fleet and so we have frequent breakdowns. And the way we work our trucks, they work round the clock. I mean, the garbage collection business is a round the clock business. And so we, the, the, the fleet we have now, woefully inadequate. But what I will say, what I will say, that if we had in place a more efficient way of collecting our garbage, those trucks probably wouldn't have suffered are deteriorated the way they deteriorate at the, at the, and at the rate at which they deteriorate. So, yes, we are, we are challenged in terms of resource, but we keep going. With the garbage collection agency struggling, Jamaicans have taken matters into their own hands and not with good results. Not just for the NSWMA, but for all social services, the ambulance, the fire, the police, you just can't get because they are not designed with this sort of road space. Some of them have no roads at all. You go through uh, walkways, zinc, um, whatever. So we, we have uh, um, in the past installed skips or drums near the entrance of these communities. But by the very construct of these communities, it's not possible to do the sort of clinical collection that you would like going through to pick up the garbage. This practice of dumping waste into gullies has had a devastating effect on the environment, especially the air we breathe and the water we drink. They should be waterways, but gullies have become dumping grounds, and there's no limit to what citizens will dump into them. Diana McCauley is the head of the Jamaica Environment Trust, JET. We have a very serious problem with solid waste management in Jamaica, and it's very visible. Um, everywhere you go, you can see the way people carelessly discard their waste, or the infrastructure, so the bins, the skips, the things to hold garbage until it can be collected, they're inadequate. Collection is not frequent enough. People are using the gullies as garbage dumps. So we have a big problem and uh, you know the reason why that's serious is because garbage thrown everywhere is a public health threat. It attracts flies, it attracts mosquitoes, it attracts rats. So, and it's a very unhealthy environment to live in with garbage everywhere. But we also have persons who throw garbage such as old fridges, old stoves, cars and the like into the into the channels and these not only impede the flow of water but they also contribute significantly to the wearing down or the breaking down of the the the, the structure Stephen Shaw, Communications and Customer Service Manager at the National Works Agency NWA further explained how this breakdown occurs for every time the water moves an old fridge. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is not visible mm -hmm. 
to us. Mm -hmm. But that concrete gets scraped and it gets scraped and it gets scraped. And before long, what happens? It breaks down, the steel is exposed, the steel corrodes, uh, the, 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 you find a hole developing mm -hmm. in, in, in the invert and that small hole becomes a bigger hole, becomes a crater, and before long, we have to spend millions. But spending millions is not the only worry. Over the years, gully banks have been transformed into burgeoning residential areas, but it has come with risks. Case in point, the October 2010 tragedy, where during heavy rains, three houses collapsed into the sandy gully. Six people were washed away by flood waters. And the rains have brought tragedy. Seven people are presumed dead after a house collapsed in the Sandy Park area of Ligony, St. Andrew, this morning. They were sleeping when their house fell into a gully with them inside. Neighbors say the water in the gully was rising from last night. Only minutes before 4 o'clock this morning, the earth under the house caved in. The house tumbled into the gully. Seven people were inside, including four children. This morning, only the body of one of the adults could be found. A neighbor said he heard what was happening and got out before the house collapsed. And here, and here, and here, out there, tear the lightning and the water and thing. And I go say, what me do? I say, water full everywhere. And I said to my wife, say, get up, man, get up, rather sleep because you know, hear the gully. We left our gully now about ten after four. We hear when that drop in the gully. And I say, my son come out and say, boy, no, come out of the house, come out of the house, cause kita was a piece of tear down after the toilet go. And after that, boy, everything just happened like what happened. While our news team was there, soil from the gully bank was still falling into the river. The people who came to see what took place last night were warned to stay away. We want to say to persons, um, take your own health, your own safety, your own life into your hands. And, and you, you can't be sitting down waiting on government to protect what it is that you ought to be the first one to be guarding against or to be protecting, which is your life. The Sandy Gully, like many other gullies in Jamaica, poses a health risk, particularly for mosquito-borne diseases like the chikungunya and Zika viruses, diseases linked to factors like poor garbage disposal. Both viruses are spread by the Aedes aegypti mosquito, known to thrive in areas where water settles, so gullies full of garbage are the perfect breeding ground. Following the massive outbreak of Chick V in 2014 and 2015, the country faced another challenge with the Zika virus. As at January 2017, there were 536 reported Zika-related pregnancy cases. Of that number, only 31 were confirmed. For the period, one baby was born with microcephaly. Now, as it relates to the wider population, the number of suspected cases of the Zika virus as at January 2017 stood at 470. There were five Guillain-Barre deaths as a result. Disease aside, gullies full of garbage have led to destruction of another kind. Marcus Garvey Drive, September 9, 2016. After a brief shower of rain, chaos on the roadway. Motorists had to tread carefully after extensive flooding. The flooding was partly due to the high volume of garbage in the gully. The true impact captured by a citizen via cell phone. Several homes in the area were flooded. Businesses along Marcus Garvey Drive were also impacted. Rain came for about 10 minutes and in 5 minutes, they were under 5 feet of water. They, they cast the bridge, just on the road, the new high, the new road, and the gully. Full of debris, and when the water came down, blocked the bridge, and everything came inside it. In five minutes, we were under five feet of water. It was kind of frightening. Um, Fisheries Department, Sugar Warehouse, CIB, Wallingford, Export Division. It's a, it's a, it's a disaster. One of the garbage pan up there, so see that them did have two up there, see there, and then burn out the bottom. 
The bottom them drop out of them. It now no bottom for all the garbage. So them turn them over and say them are going to bring garbage pan. None of them for all the rubbish. So the people then throw the rubbish in the gully. Because them now keep them in the house. But them no want to come bring no pan for the people and throw the garbage in. So I don't know what they are going to do. The people say they're not the only ones who throw garbage into the gully. The I rubbish come the rubbish from, come from up there, so they might throw the rubbish in my yard. If you, ever, if you ever go around there, so Jesus Christ. Mosquito would have killed around there. Then see a front by quarry and throw it down. Bloop! We need help. Garbage is not good for the kids in the community here. Be a, be a big some rat. rat. Some ugly rat. Some don't know where them come rat. from. Yeah, miss. Me don't know where them rat they come from. If you ever see them, they can go with all a baby day. Rats are not the only problem, but mosquitoes as well. Me just buy some something and spray for my baby skin. Uh, 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 he's of the mosquito. Put him in a net. Even me is sick too. Right now me right sick now. and I think it's a gully sick in me. Yeah, yeah I think so. I should, I should. Yeah, I can't manage the scent. The scent affects my side.